What a crowd! As befits the changing of dawn servants. It's starting. Servant! Look! He's here! The head of reason is resting again. Thought he'd grace us for this occasion at least. People of Tuliolal, you honor us with your presence. For on this auspicious day, we witness the tasking of one era and the dawning of the next. The succession of dawn servants. <laughs> but I've talked for long enough. Allow me to present a claimant whose determination, wisdom, and compassion guided them to triumph in the city of gold. My daughter, Wook Lamott! Huzzah! Huzzah! Long live the Dawn Servant! Long live Tuli Yolal! Growing up in this city, I used to think I knew all there was to know about Tulejolal. But my journey showed me how much I had yet to learn about the cultures, histories, and aspirations of this nation. Through the time-honored Ichana, the Hanuhanu taught me how they nourish and cultivate both the land and their bonds with visitors. And with their alpacas and tradecraft, the Pelupelu showed me the depths of their patience and fortitude to know when to push through and when not to push your luck. From the moblins and their artisans, I gained insight into the power of creativity that it is when we are filled with passion and bolstered by the support of others that we produce our best works. I was moved by the history and hopes of the Yokhui, who believe that death isn't the end, that we live on so long as we remembered. I felt joy and harmony in Yaktel when I tasted Shebruk Bibil, the dish that marked the beginning of peace between the Shebral and Mamuja after centuries of warfare. And I felt sorrow in Mamuk when I met with those who placed their faith in the promise of blessed siblings and for this were burdened with great suffering. Through the understanding we forged, I am hopeful that they will find what they seek through friendship and community, for we are all Turali. Understanding with Mamuk? What sorcery did she use on them? All of which is to say that, as I've come to know our nation, I've seen the ways in which we thrive 
and the ways in which we still struggle. Some in Kozamauka must resort to banditry to survive. A faction of Yokui still cling to dreams of conquest. Not everyone lives in peace and plenty. And there's still so much of Tulihyolol I don't know. Places I haven't seen and people I haven't met. That's why I hope to keep learning about and from you. That we might build a nation where everyone knows happiness. Because if there's one thing my journey has taught me, it's that your happiness is my happiness! I say mine, but the Dawn Servant doesn't need to be a single person, does it? Oh dear, what is she doing? Yeah! <sighs> My father led Tuli Hyolau to prosperity by the resolve and reason of his two heads. But my one head can only get us so far. To further change our nation for the better, I'll need someone else. Someone with the knowledge and insight that I lack. So what do you say? Be done servant with me, Kona. Ramachi. Are you certain? Absolutely. You take reason, and I take resolve. Together, we make a full Dawn Servant. <laughs> You'll have no objections from me, of course. But mine is not the approval you need. During my time abroad, I experienced the benefits of foreign technologies, some of which I introduced to our nation. Dirigibles now soar the sky in the south, while locomotives traverse the land in the north. I was convinced that by imitating foreign powers, we could assert our strength and thereby deter invasion. Yet despite my intentions, I failed to understand what I was too eager to cast aside, and the very people I wished to protect. My own journey has taught me that culture isn't a hindrance to progress but a shared value that binds us, connecting lives and generations. With your blessing, I vow to help Tuli Yolal prosper in a way that honors the hopes and heritage of all her peoples. My esteemed predecessor would accept nothing less. For ultimately, I harbor the same wish as my sister, to give you cause to smile. That is my heartfelt desire.
<laughs> Glad this didn't go to waste. This is the Lay of Legacy, the part of the Tuli Hyola saga where you and I become the next Dawn Servant. Good heavens! Don't tell me this is what kept you so busy ahead of the ceremony. Just so you know, I didn't decide this on a whim. After reflecting on all we've been through, I realized it was the only answer. With this, both my brother and I have worthy successors. He would have been proud. Hmm. Of course you knew. It's been three years since my brother left us. It cannot be. The Head of Reason is no longer with us. Oh, tragic tidings. I didn't want to believe it. I'm sorry I never told you. We wanted the people to rest easy until our successor could be chosen. Planning the right was my brother's final duty. He was determined for it to serve the nation's best interests and labored nigh without cease. And then he died forcing me to do the actual work. A sneaky bastard. But he did well. I have to give him that. The outcome speaks for itself. Though not quite to the original script, your new Dawn servant rises. May they shine resplendent, and their rule bring light ever greater to Tuliolo! Changes in the air, and it's all because of our little firebrand. Every Ilmer father's daughter, that one. 
I'll be watching where you steer this nation, lass. With what time I've got left. <laughs>